Good morning. Today is June 6, 2017, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. Hope you're doing well today. It's a bit muggy in the Wayne County area, much like we had yesterday. So let's take a look at the forecast. Right now, as you can see, current conditions around the Wayne County area. Uh, we're at, uh, where are we, about 69 degrees right now, 69 under variably cloudy skies. There's a mixture right now of clouds and sun uh, around the Wayne County area as we are at sunrise here. But taking a look at the weather forecast for the next few days for today and tomorrow, uh, partly sunny today. We'll have a few clouds and a little bit of sunshine, but a slight chance of rain. And in fact, there's a chance of a thunderstorm after three o'clock this afternoon. 83, the expected high for today with a chance of rain at 30% and a breeze from the north at up to about six miles an hour. Overnight tonight, we see mostly cloudy skies, a chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, maybe after, uh, excuse me, before midnight, if we get anything at all. If we get a thunderstorm, it'll be before midnight. And then just after that, just a slight chance of rain, but 64, the overnight low for tonight. A light breeze out of the north uh, and a 30% chance of rain, as I mentioned. Now for tomorrow, we see Wednesday, it's gonna cool off quite a bit. Our expected high for tomorrow is only 76 degrees. So we're gonna go from 83 today to 76 tomorrow. And mostly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy as you can see, a uh, chance of showers mainly after nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Chance of rain tomorrow is 40%, a little better chance of rain tomorrow with a breeze out of the northeast at about nine miles an hour. That's for tomorrow. Again, around the Wayne County area, 69 degrees under variably cloudy skies. We do see hints of sunshine out there and it's gonna be a pretty nice day. If you enjoyed yesterday, you're gonna love today. Yeah, just about identical. That's because it's a special day. Well, what makes today special? I'm glad you asked. By the way, uh, the month of June, the month of June is National Rivers Month. You remember Johnny Rivers? Yeah, it's his month. Bobby Rivers? You remember Bobby Rivers? No, it sounds familiar. I don't remember him. But anyway, it's beside the point. It is National Rivers Month, but it's also today is, as I mentioned, D-Day. A day back in 1944, it's been quite a ways back during World War II, when more than 160,000 Allied troops landed along a 50-mile stretch of the heavily fortified French coastline to fight Nazi Germany on the beaches of Normandy, France. General Dwight D. Eisenhower called the operation a crusade in which we will accept nothing less than full victory. More than 5,000 ships and 13,000 aircraft supported the D-Day invasion. That's 5,000 ships, 13,000 aircraft. And by day's end, the Allies gained a foothold on continental Europe. The cost in lives on D-Day was high. More than 9,000 Allied soldiers were killed or wounded. Their sacrifice, however, allowed more than 100,000 soldiers to begin the slow, hard slog across Europe to defeat Adolf Hitler. So today is the day we remember and observe, commemorate D-Day, June 6, 1944. On a less serious note, what else is special about today? Today is drive-in movie day. You know, you don't see or hear too much of drive-in movies much anymore. I remember there used to be one on South Slocum Street just outside the back gate of the base, but there's been other drive-in movie theaters around the area. And in fact, across the country, there's only a handful left, and those are just novelty items. They're not there to actually be drive-in movies, but they're for there for those people who enjoyed those from way back when. Yeah, I used to enjoy drive-ins. Yeah, a lot of fun. I know this, well, never mind. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. Today is National Eyewear Day. Eyewear. Shirt, pants, shoes, eyewear, clothes. What? Oh. Eyewear. I knew that. Okay, today is also National Higher Education Day. Colleges in the U.S. observe this on different date, but uh, we'll just call it National Higher Education today, uh, Day today. Today is Russian Language Day. Dobre utro, senor. Today is Yo-Yo Day. Yo! Yo! Yo-Yo. Oh, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo is like observed on the birth anniversary of one David Duncan of Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, uh, Donald Duncan of, of, of Duncan Yo-Yo's. Yo. All right, here's today's trivia question. Category for today's trivia question is Greek goddesses. Whew. That's a toughie, right? Not really. 
No, not really. You know, you see, people in Wayne County are very familiar with the Greek goddess Hibi. Yes, the Greek goddess Hibi, the goddess of eternal youth. Now, how do we know the Greek goddess Hibi in Wayne County? That's the question, and I'll have the answer for you coming up in just a few minutes on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Now, in the 7 o'clock hour here across the Wayne County area, just a couple of things for you very quickly. June 8th is Thursday, and that's when the Go Wayne Go will have uh, and continue their Walk and Roll series. Every Thursday at 6 p.m., they do some walking for one hour. This is great, great exercise, but it's not really exercise. It's just plain fun. You know, you get out with a bunch of other people, and you start yakking and talking, and before you know it, an hour's already passed. Yeah, time to do it again, right? But uh, this time it will be at the Stony Creek Greenway. It's called the Rugged Crawl. And this will be a uh, meeting. Everybody will meet at the corner of East Elm Street and Stony Creek Parkway. The Rugged Crawl. Wear boots. That's important. Had a little rain here lately, right? Like last night. Also, uh, the one coming up on June 15th will be out at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Got a blood drive for you also Thursday morning beginning at 10 going till 2.30. This will be at the Red Cross office on North George Street. This is primarily targeting uh, Wayne County employees, such as yourself included, uh, or myself. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. But it's for anybody who wants to give blood. So if you want to give blood, this is your time. June 8th at 10 o'clock at the Red Cross office at 600 North George Street. And if you want to call and make an appointment, all you got to do is knuckle down, knuckle down, buckle down, knuckle down, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, that's the way the song goes. But the number to call is 919-735-7201, 735-7201. There is a Neighborhood Energy Saver program coming up and being presented at the WA Foster Recreation Center also on Thursday. Thursday is a busy day. This will begin at 6, go until 730, WA Foster Recreation Center providing home energy assessment, installation of several energy conservation measures, energy education that will enable the residents to make behavioral changes to reduce and control energy usage, okay? Oh, don't forget uh, Father's Day, June 18th, okay? Yeah, that works for me. Got a farmer's market every Wednesday and every Friday at Herman Park, right? From 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. That's gonna be growing throughout the summer, so if you wanna see a couple of people out there, don't worry about it, it will grow during the summer months as things grow, right? Here's the answer to today's trivia question. How do Wayne County residents know the Greek goddess Hebe? H-E-B-E. -E. That's the question. Well, everybody knows the Greek goddess Hebe, the goddess of, Greek goddess of eternal youth. If you've ever visited Herman Park. Yeah, it's the lady in the fountain. Yeah, that's the Greek goddess Hebe. There you go. That's it for today. We're going to do it again bright and early tomorrow around 7 o'clock. The show repeats every day at noon, then again at 5.30 p.m. Have a great day. Please drive carefully and always wear your seatbelt. Thank you. Seatbelts save lives. So until tomorrow, for Bria McCoy and Pat Garner, I'm Wayne Alley, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.